In this clip I'm going to go through how to do the initial setup of the database once you've downloaded it. When you uh, watch the other instruction videos and you open up the database you'll see that you're asked to put in a password and everything is um, already set up so all the sessions are done. There's lots of students, in my case they all happen to be ex-prime ministers, um, I don't know why. Um, the schools are there, all the instructors are there, There's Isaac Newton and who else we've got, Albert Einstein and of course Wigbert, just because I like the name. Um, there's also lots of people in the non-GCSE and they all happen to be Oscar winners, so you've got Morgan Friedman, Ingrid Bergman, Jack Nicholson etc. But obviously when you've just downloaded the database it's not like that, it's, it's completely blank. So when you open it as a new database, the first thing I'd suggest you do is put in the password um, or you know protect your new system. But that's up to you. What we really need to do is, the first thing we need to do is actually um, set up the instructors. That's the most important thing when you first get it because without an instructor you can't do anything. So let's have a look. Let's set up an instructor. First I'll just do this really, really quickly so it'll just appear on the screen after I've typed it. So there we have um, an instructor already set up so now we've actually got somebody who can run the sessions. Now all we need to do now is wait until um, some kids turn up and they actually want to do a GCSE. So here you are, you're sitting in your ski school office and a school teacher turns up at the desk and says he's got two kids who want to uh, run a GCSE session. So the first thing to do in this case will be to load in the school details because without the school details you can't actually set up the kids. So here we go, so we set up the school details and once again I'm going to click on new which is this little button up here and the details come up. I'm going to once again, I'll fill this in quickly and it will just appear. So there we have the, the schools being inserted now so we've got all the details. And the next thing to do is once that's done is click save and now we need to create the session for these two kids that have actually just turned up and the session is going to be done uh, we need to insert a date so I don't know, the 15th of January 2019 it's going to be done in uh, our ski resort and it's going to start there they want to get out of bed a little bit later so it's going to be started at half past 10 and we're going to select an instructor we've only got one so we'll select John and that's that, that's the session is actually now set up. So now what we need to do, now we need to add some kids into it. So we click on the uh, add student, and there it is. And the first name of the student is, um, I don't know, Jim, Jim Brown. And his student number is that. And his school, we've only just, we've only got one school on it, so we'll select the Wigan High School and select save. And Jim Brown's on it, and we need to add in another one. And this is going to be um, his sister, who is Jill Brown. And her student number is that. And the school is a Wigan High School. And then we click Save. So there we go. We've now uh, set up the session. We've only got two students on it. Um, but it's, you know, it's good to go. And that's how you do the initial setup.